Hi, back again. This time I'm going to move on to the next section, which is adding a button and making the button do something. In this case, I want to be able to add text into the text box. Uh, sorry, in numbers into the text box. Press the button, it'll put it into the list box. First thing to do is just like we did the text box, get a button and drop it onto by holding the left button down, selecting it, and dropping it onto the screen. And I'll put the button on the screen. Again, just as before, I select the button and choose format. And again, choose absolute so I can move the button where I want it to be. And I'm going to move the button just to put it over here for convenience. Now, again, according to the university rules, we must change the wording of the button. Can't leave it as button one, so I'll change that to BTN lowercase and then say button. Yeah, that should do it. Now to add some code or action to that button so that when I press the button it does something, I'll double click it. As you can see it comes up with a little section of code which is the button code. And in there I'm going to put the code to be able to add the button onto the screen. i add the numbers from text box onto the list box. So I'm going to say declare a variable to hold values. So dim, oops, dim, dim value as decimal. The text box, so we say value equals oh what do we call a text box let's have a look and see text box called txt input okay back on here txt input and when you press the dot after it if you've got it right it'll come up with all the various alternatives we want text so now we've got the value from the, the text box into the variable called value we need to get the value into the list box. Let's go and check what I've called the list box. I've forgotten. So click on the list box. It's called LST data. Okay, back onto the code. And we've got LST data dot items oops, dot um, add. What we're going to add? Well, the value. In other words, what I put into the variable. Yeah. Okay, now that's all we need to get the value into the list box, hopefully. Let's have a look and see if it works. Program, I'm going to click on debug and click on start debugging. Open the program up on the web page. As you haven't seen it before, we just click the OK button just to agree it. The web page appears. Let's see if it works. I'll put in there, say, 13. 15, 23, everything's working fine. But what happens if I put in, say, accidentally a character like um, one or a word? What happens is the program crashes with this message. Let's see if we can see what this message actually means by casting from something to something. What it's saying is that we've declared the variable as a decimal and I've put ONE into the text box and put it into value and it can't hold it, it just crashes. So we must have some way of validating that. So let's have a go at that next. Click on debug and click on stop debugging. What I'll do is check to see if number. Right. So what I'm going to put down here, if his numeric, open brackets, txt input dot text, then, then do the following code, in other words copy the value from the input text box into the value, else say lbl data dot text 
equals must be number uh, sorry a number yeah need to end if now hopefully when I try to run it now we'll see what it does and start debugging again let's try again number I don't know five add it in let's try mum see what happens look at that it says must be a number not very pretty but it does a job and the program doesn't crash and I put in seven now and add that in put in 30 L see what happens must be a number brilliant does a job okay so that's that bit completed we can now enter numbers into the text box and put them into the list box the next thing will be to check